score the first fall in this matchup. It's of the utmost importance because then your opponent's fighting from underneath. It means your opponent has to score two consecutive decisions over you to win. Not an easy task, to say the least. Something to also remember is the first fall could be the only fall in the match. That gives you a huge psychological edge over your opponent. Remember, there was an Iron Man match that ended 1-0. The first ever Iron Man match between Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart at WrestleMania. Uh-oh. Full mount. Hammer fists. Striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. One after another. Look at this. Deadlifting there. Holding into a, a gut red suplex, but not done yet. Holding on for another. A second gut red suplex. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Brutality. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Display. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. A second gut red suplex. Just look at Cross gain the momentum in this one. Axiom now just trying to survive. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. In an Iron Man match, you have to worry about two things. Your opponent and the clock. I think this is a good pace so far. And this kind of match, is it better to get out to an early lead or keep things even for as long as you can? There's certainly arguments for both, but if you find yourself in a position where you can run up the score, from where I'm sitting, you should by all means take it. For the Doomsday Saito, and that can he score the pick? 